is Kevin Hart on your list of greatest comedians of all time? Hold on, let's go. Well, you, like... you don't smoke, cause oh, you don't smoke. So where your wine at? Right here. All right, come on. Let's answer this question. <laughs> cause <is> he <laughs> on your Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Is Kevin Hart mm-hmm. on your Mount Rushmore? How many people are on Mount Rushmore? Cause, <clears throat> but we could do five. Uh, on my Mount Rushmore, the funniest comedian to me is Bernie Mac. Like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, you know where people... Bernie Mac from? Huh? You know where Bernie Mac from? Chicago. Chicago. You okay, me? we won't talk about that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If we being honest. The most talented people come out of Chicago, but we gonna keep we gonna move past. Yeah, I'm from North Carolina, so Fairville stand talented up. People. Fairville right. stand up. Thank you. I wanna know two six and okay. You but yeah, so I and, I and you know when I look at my favorite comedians and like the people the comedians we have today, it's not the same. Like comedians we have today are like have to be more family, like you were saying, like to their audience. Because mm-hmm. Bernie Mac, hey, bro, he ain't gonna. Uh-huh. Right, he's he not gonna hold that. Was funny to him and to you know his his core audience. You feel me? Even though the right. jokes, like, and I don't, I don't, I feel like with comedy you can push the lines. You feel me? It's comedy. You post to laugh at it. You know, I don't want to have to think like, oh damn. Right, you gotta think to be too sensitive. Like Bernie Mac would be like bitches and hoes. I don't. I wasn't. I mean, I would look back at his old stuff. I wasn't of age to like understand it or even have any type of feeling about it. But when I watch it, I don't get no type of feeling because the shit is funny like oh. it's just funny it ain't nothing personal to personalize or nothing it's just funny so why you think people get so offended nowadays than back when we was you feel me? <laughs> really to me i feel like once somebody apologized the first time mm-hmm. that makes it open for people other people's opinions so for me, Kevin Hart had apologized before when he did the Oscar thing. Okay, or let's whatever. talk about this Kevin Hart apology tour that <laughs> whenever he does something wrong, he on every TV show. I'm sorry. Right, I'm sorry. right. And and that's what I'm saying. I feel like that's what makes it <laughs> like, okay, I'm about to say something because he, you know what I'm saying? He acknowledged it before. Yeah. So when people acknowledge it, it makes it open for people to put their two cents in. Like, and like even with this recent uh stand up, even with this recent stand up, he said he named the stand up I don't give a fuck, right? Right. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> <laughs> and people got some shit to say. Boy, like he on interviews right now, like I don't give a like nigga, obviously you, <laughs> you give a fuck. <laughs> Honestly, like you said, like I think that was the only thing he needs to come out with a special, like, all right, I give a little bit. <laughs> you know, I get a little bit right because wasn't the one before Apollo, I apologize or something. He uh, I don't know, but he has said some um some comments toward the gay community and like some old tweets. And he was supposed to host the Oscars, and the Oscars said, "We want y'all to they like Kevin Hart. We need you to apologize for these previous comments that you made." And Kevin Hart was like, "I've already apologized for him. I'm not apologizing again." But the funniest thing is he went on every show was like, I've already apologized for these comments. I'm not apologizing <laughs> again. So right. he was like, okay, I'll apologize. <laughs> um, it's just like, okay, bro. Like, stop apologizing to people, man. Right, that's what I'm saying. And, that's and why I, feel I feel like, like he at a level where he got enough money and enough. enough it don't happy. matter. Like, you don't have to apologize. Right, you're going to have your same fan base regardless. Like, like mm-hmm. you said, cater to that fan base. 